I, I like the new coach. I feel like he's um, and I, if anything, I feel like he he had he has the potential to to get them the new heights because it's really to me as big as Notre Dame is, like as far as money and popularity, like I do believe it's probably at least for younger modern kids, it probably is hard to recruit to Notre Dame. It's probably hard to get a kid Not coming really. out of high school. No. You know why they don't have to recruit like that because they got the Catholic church, Catholic church behind them, right? So a lot of those students who went to those schools are a Catholic. That's where you usually they're going to get the pull from that first. They kind of they have the five stars they, and stuff. They, I ain't thinking about that. I'm saying, they, 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 I'm saying, would you be thinking about that if you was being recruited by Notre Dame? Oh, uh, y'all got the Catholic church behind you. No, 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 no. I'm saying, but if you look at a lot of kids, they get these kids from the islands. A lot of these people where Catholicism is big. They get kind of first yeah, dibs on a lot of those get, people. They get first dibs on a lot of those people because of that fact. Uh, and, no, and no shade at, at Catholics. Yeah. But it's just no kind of like. I'm just saying, they kind of get first dibs on those kids usually. And I'm I'm just saying, like a lot of kids, especially you know around that age, isn't probably thinking about the the religion about behind a lot of these schools. And um, I bet your it, family is though; they in your ear. Yeah, yeah, your family probably <laughs> is. Yeah, uh, but I, I think that at the end of the day, you know, your family does have a lot to do with where you want to go. But um, yeah, no, I, I, probably the academic standards. Like, I, yeah, I it's, yeah. I it's, it's an elite school. It's an elite school. But I mean, yeah. but I don't know if that works in the favor necessarily of a football team. Like I give, I give Notre Dame a credit for being good when they're good because I think that is, I think like I, I think that you're going to a place that's a little cold. Like you know, is the the weather's not great. The campus is apparently beautiful from people who visit it. Mm-hmm. But like I just don't like I don't know if they have like the 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 culture of fun. You know, because Notre Dame's like sort of gritty, hard nosed. You think of Rudy, like the all, the, all the, these types of things. Like I don't know if that necessarily goes well with uh, like. Most kids from this generation, even though I mean they they know they have plenty of like offensive linemen and like running backs and stuff in the league. I'm not gonna say that they haven't and linebackers. Like I'm not saying that they don't figure it out, but I do think that like schools like Notre Dame, Stanford, um, BYU, like I do think they have a little bit to overcome in the recruiting game. Not yeah. really. Not when you have. I I don't. I'll I'm say just talking that. about top players. Our opinion is our opinion, but I will mm-hmm. say religion does come. And to play, you see, by BYU, a lot of those kids are Mormon, so they're going to be more inclined. So if you're a five star and you're Mormon, you're more inclined to want to go to Utah or how BYU. Many five-star <laughs> Tom? Hey, <laughs> I don't know, but how many five star Catholics who think it four star, three four? Tell me that. That many? I don't think that's many. I don't think. I don't think three, Wichita four, comes from Texas. I, I'm just is... saying. I, I think it is a factor for some of these cats that they're thinking of some of these schools and their parents are like, hey. This is a big Catholic school. You know you're big in your religion. This is somewhere, and they're recruiting them heavily. They know, oh shit, we got a we got a chance out of this Catholic school or modern day up here or the Mathis or some of these schools. Not the Mathis, uh, what's the uh, Saint whatever. We, we're more inclined for those kids to want to go to Notre Dame because of that fact. Not saying it's guaranteed like lock, but it's something that's more inclined to. If you got a Mormon who's coming out of Utah, they're more inclined to. Yeah, I might want to go play at BYU because I mean. They um, fit my religion. Now, you know what you're saying is some bullshit. <laughs> I, I don't think it is. I, I will pull up a fact. I don't think I, I, I'll bet on I feel like I've heard experts say that before. Like, I don't understand what you're saying. If they, like, if you find this kid that, like, this is what they value and this is where they went, but you can't necessarily latch that on to, like, the type of, of the kids. Oh, the majority of the kids and the type of the majority of the kids, the majority that's, of the that's, kids that's out of school. That's your issue. Y'all think I'm saying that for majority. I'm not. I'm saying that does play a part for some of the athletes picking those schools because of that. I have a recruiting thing. If, if you got to get an edge of recruiting and I say, Hey, you know, I know that you're Catholic also, you want to go to LSU, but we're Catholic school. Like, oh, you know, that might help at an edge. And we're also an elite school. It's an edge in recruiting. I'm not saying that's the, like, Hey, you come here because you're Catholic. I'm no, saying that's, that is I, an edge. In a no, I get what you're saying, that. but I feel like majority of the kids out there, like, I feel like it's harder to pick kids that are in that, specific category to go to these type of schools then it is kids that just have raw talent and then you have all these kids so if you like pick out of espn top 100 Mm -hmm. i bet you it might be two or three in there maybe maybe you know what i'm saying so then you got to get you got to do it down to those two or three and try to push for that and they probably live they could live close they could live far whatever circumstance comes to but i don't know it's it's another it's another a topic mm-hmm. for discussion another day. I don't want to get too far into religion, but I do want to cover this game right here because I think 
It's, oh, it's too let, me, let me get this just one. It's last thought out there. And Lord, it's, an article I found it. it's just it's the last thing and I'm done on the field. This is a quote from uh, I have to find it one second. I'll say it on the field. Recruiters <laughs> for Notre Dame have long looked towards Catholic high schools for the next wave of fighting Irish talent. That's all I want to say. They do look for that. That's like where you, if you're going mean, to come into play. Look, yeah, we're saying you, like it comes into play. But majority, I feel like majority kids don't. I'm just saying that yeah. is something that is something that they're looking. At. There's a lot of great. Look at some of the top schools in the nation in Maryland and uh, I know California. There's a lot of Catholic schools that are like top 10. There's at least two or three that are in the top 10. Yeah, I like John Bosco and Modern Day, but I don't think that's why I don't like I mean, just because the school is, I don't think that the, like I think that those are just better schools. Like I don't necessarily think just because you go there you have to be. Like DJ Uyunga like went to uh John Bosco and I'm pretty sure John Bosco was a private Catholic school, but he's not Catholic at all. Like he just you know, you know it's a football recruit. You talk to that man? You talk to you know his religion? Heck no. Um, <laughs> I mean he I mean he talks about I mean he talks about like uh, like being some is Christian and something like but when the Polynesian, yeah, like, but, really but yeah, not to get too far, but I was just saying that is a factor for them to help recruiting. That's all. Okay. I mean. no, we're not disagreeing. We're yeah. just just say no. We're not disagreeing.